Welcome to Lombok. This is our first day on this island. We have just come over from Bali and I'm going to be showing you what Lombok is like today. We are staying in Senegigi, um, I'm hopefully pronouncing that right, which is on the north south west coast of Lombok. Um, I'm going to be showing you what it's like, how different it is to Bali, what's good, what's bad and basically what this island's like. I've heard a lot of great things about this island so I'm excited to show you. We're currently at this beach. We just ordered two coconuts from this lovely Lombok lady. Um, I think they're ready, so let's go have a look. You got your coconut? Mm -hmm. Ah, so cool. Yeah, sama sama. Ah. <laughs> How is it? It's very fresh. It's, oh, it's dripping. You need to drink it oh. now. Let's get this coconut going. That's really good. It's really good, that, isn't it? We had one yesterday. This one's better. I think it may be a bit sweeter. So we are just walking along this beautiful beach. We're going over the loud waves. We're going over here because it looks a bit clearer, like there's no boats on the beach. But the water looks super, super clear, much clearer than in Bali. So it's quite exciting. We're going to go for a good old swim. Maybe we might see some fish. And apparently there's a lot of turtles around this area as well. So hopefully some turtles too. It is time to go in for a swim because I need to pee because I drank a big coconut. Mm. They are very, there's so much water in coconuts, be careful. You'll need the toilet in like 10 minutes. Right, let's go in. It looks stunning. So there is like a resort here, but it looks pretty closed down at the moment. I don't know, maybe they're re um, redoing it after COVID. But yeah, it looks really nice. It would be cool to stay there, but it's probably quite expensive as well. We are going to head back now to our bike and then go find some lunch somewhere because we're getting a little hungry after that swim. The mountains around here look insane. They look so cool. It does look a bit like Hawaii. Yeah, I was literally about to say that. So here is our bike. This is costing us 70,000 a day, which is a decent price. And it looks like a new bike, so pretty good really. We're gonna jump back on and then get some lunch. So we've just stopped off at this viewpoint on the way back and it looks insane. Look at this. I don't know why, but it gives me really Thailand vibes. Yeah, it feels more like Thailand than Bali, which is weird because Bali's right there. <laughs> Yeah, you can, or maybe you can't see it now, but you can see the Gili Islands, that's Gili T, Gili Meno, and then Gili Air is just around the corner, which you can't really see. But up here in the mountains, I don't think you can see it, but it's Rajani, um, which is the tallest mountain in Lombok. We're not going to be hiking at this time, but at some point, it's definitely on my bucket list to do. Same. <laughs> One of the good things about here in Lombok is the roads seem amazing compared to Bali. Bali, the roads are really narrow and horrible, and there's so much traffic here. Honestly, there's like no traffic. The roads are pristine, wider. It just feels so much better than Bali. And yeah, first impressions of Bombok are really good. I'm loving this place. It's nice. It's, it's nice, guys. You should come here. Don't go to Bali, come to Lombok. So we just had lunch, we had chap chai, and it was really good. Um, but it started raining, so we've come back to our room. And I want to show you this, because it's only 15 pounds a night um, all together, so. This is our room. It's really clean, just like, you know, it's nothing special, but it's everything you kind of need. We've got a lovely little toilet and shower. Look, it even comes out like the roof. That's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, that's our room. We're hopefully, when the rain stops, gonna go out to Senengigi town and then hopefully a cool viewpoint later. So that should be pretty cool. Whilst it's raining, I want to talk to you about some of the struggles that I'm having at the moment with workload and getting distracted by pretty much everything. This is where today's video sponsor Skillshare comes in. I don't know about you, but I get distracted so easily, whether that's on my phone or practically anything, but I've been recommended this course on Skillshare, Real Productivity, How to Build Habits That Last by Thomas Frank. I feel like productivity is something a lot of people struggle with in this day and age. And this course has done so much to help build systems to get my work done and develop habits which actually allow me to be more efficient with my time. Thomas goes into detail about challenges you may face and how to overcome them. 
and walking you through apps which have helped him to be more productive. So if you're finding yourself not being productive like me, then I recommend checking out this course on Skillshare, who have kindly offered that the first thousand people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So please don't miss out on this opportunity and start being more productive like me. Right, let's go back to our first day in Lombok. So we are now going to head to a viewpoint because the weather has cleared up um, and it should be looking over the mountains and over the sea. So let's go on the bike and head there. We have just driven up the mountains and we've come to this viewpoint and it looks insane. It feels like we're somewhere completely different, not on the beaches anymore, but in the mountains. And that was just a 15 minute drive, which is insane. So it's our first day in Lombok, but we wanted to give a little comparison between Bali and Lombok, just because there are differences, but there's also similarities, of course, because it is the island just next door. Um, and I think one of the main, th main differences is like the culture, even though it's literally like a ferry ride away, it, the culture here is so different to Bali. Um, they actually are different religions as well. Bali is predominantly Hindu and uh, in Lombok it's predominantly Muslim. I think 70% we were told Muslim. Um, but there's also some Christianity and some Hindu. So yeah, but, but it's quite different. Yeah, Bali has that very unique, I feel, culture. Um, and it's very unique. It's like, I think it's the only island in Indonesia which is Hindu, which makes it just so different and unique um, compared to other islands. And I don't know what it is, but like we've both said, Bali has like a certain magical feel about it. Like this viewpoint is absolutely beautiful. And this is just a 15 minute ride from the sea. And I feel like you just don't get that in Bali. You have to drive quite a way to get from the beach to the mountains, whereas this is right on your doorstep. And I'm so excited to discover in the next couple of days, the waterfalls, the mountains, um, going near Rinjani we're planning and also some beautiful islands which are really untouristy. I think that's the main thing. Lombok is not touristy um, compared to Bali. Bali has a big international airport, whereas Lombok has an international airport, but not nearly as many flights. So you're gonna get all these spots just more to yourself or local Indonesian tourists. And I don't think on this trip, we're gonna have time to go down to Kuta, which is a big shame because the beaches down there look beautiful compared to Bali. Bali have a lot of black sand beaches and they just don't look quite the same as here in Lombok. Anyway, I thought it would be interesting just to have a little comparison because I definitely recommend visiting Lombok. I know it's our first day, but the amount of good stuff how peaceful it is, how quiet it is, the roads and the traffic, it just, I don't know, I think it's a little bit of a gem. So yeah, we're gonna head now to a sunset spot on a cliff because um, it's supposed to be a really good place to watch the sunset as we're in West Lombok. So we'll see the sun set below the sea. So Ooh. let's go there. So we have just reached our sunset spot and the sun has almost gone. So we're trying to be quick, but wow. Lombok is absolutely beautiful. Look at this scenery. Look at those massive mountains and then the sunset in the distance. It's uh, what's the word? Inda. Inda. Which is beautiful scenery kind of thing. It looks insane. It looks like Phuket almost, but more beautiful with no buildings everywhere. So as you can see in the distance, they are the Gili Islands, Gili T, Gili Menno and Gili Air. I think that's right. Um, we're probably not gonna be going to them this time, but maybe another time when we're in Indonesia. Guys, there's so much to see. Well, there's not enough time. So we are gonna go into Sengigi town because maybe there's a bit more nightlife around there or, you know, places to eat. Because we were gonna check it out earlier, but it rained. Um, so let's go get on the bike and head there. Just come into an Italian restaurant, which looks amazing, loads of pizza and pasta. It feels so Western here. See, it's not just Bali and get your Western stuff, but also here in Lombok, which is pretty cool. So we have just got our pastas and they look and taste amazing, don't they? It's like so good. This is the best pasta we've had in like months of traveling. Since we were back home, basically. Like, honestly, I'm just gonna dig into this and enjoy it. Oh no. The ice cream is melting. Anyway, we're in the center of Senegigi, and honestly, it's crazy. It's so different to Bali. The road is wide. The buildings seem like, I don't know, really different, like really well built. 
It's just crazy the difference, isn't it? And we're sat on a bench on the side of the street. And this may seem weird, but like a bench is like a novelty for us because you don't get those many places. Especially in Bali, like the streets just cluttered, busy, and it's fairly peaceful. You get the loud bike every now and again, but it's fairly peaceful around here. And it's just so cool, a lot of Western areas. I think this is a place which is gonna blow up in the next few years. I just see so much potential. It's just, it just seems so nice. Definitely, and also your ice cream is melting. Oh no. Anyway, we're going to enjoy this seat and my ice cream and we'll see you in a bit. So that was our first day in Lombok and hopefully you liked the comparison between Bali and Lombok and, you know, the benefits of each. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video. See you then. Bye.